Sometimes we visit patients in their homes because the fact that the patient will move according to our roads and our transport, it makes the patient's pain worse. The pain, if it's not treated, the patient is in total chaos. They cannot think, they cannot do anything. They all concentrate their mind on the pain. They cannot eat, they cannot dress, they cannot bathe, they cannot move. The relatives at home, nobody sleeps in that home. Beatrice? Many developing countries still have a real problem about the use and the importation and manufacture of morphine. Sorry, 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 sorry. The second thing then is to have appropriate ways of distributing it. So, for example, in Uganda, they dilute powdered morphine into water, which is uh, coloured with a dye to indicate the three different strengths and is distributed by nurses in the communities using recycled water bottles. Now that may, may seem very crude, but in terms of pain control, you know, that is absolutely transformational in terms of care of cancer patients in sub-Saharan Africa. How, how is your pain now? Mm. Is it, has it re, like reduced on the... It has reduced. It has reduced on morphine, eh? We need uh, morphine because most of the drugs, they don't control the pain in cancer patients. So morphine is very important. You are seeing my hand, are you? No, this is five here, and this is one. But the time when we came here, when you gave you morphine, it was at this one. At five, the worst pain, okay? You are not sleeping, you are feeling a lot of pain, but now you say it has reduced. So this is one, two, three, four, five. This is the least pain, this is the worst pain. So where would you range your pain now? Oh, good. Three. Her quality of life was poor at the time before we came in to give her morphine. But for now, I think she will appreciate her quality of life that even when she's going to die, she will die without pain because she didn't have hope of work of using her crutches so it means that her pain is actually well controlled and that is what we are looking at. Uganda is an advantage because doctors are allowed to prescribe and nurses who have done the clinical palliative care course which is a nine month course in hospice Uganda can prescribe morphine but in other countries it's only doctors who are supposed to prescribe so sometimes you find the morphine is available but there's no one to prescribe it. Many people living in rural areas or um, poor township areas, their first point of contact is with a nurse clinician. Currently we have over 120 nurses and clinical officers who have had special training in palliative care and they are the, they're placed in the districts, they are able to to give this morphine to prescribe it for the patients. So at least we've been, uh, as a country, we've increased on the prescribers. 